R&B money. One day I get a call from Diane McDonald, who was Jermaine's press coordinator, right? I hadn't heard from her. Her, her his what? His production coordinator production. at the time. I hadn't heard from her in forever. No, I'm sorry. No, it was before she called me. Mariah called me. Mariah said, hey, I'm doing, I'm doing a restripe of my album. And I need, I, need, I, need, I, need, I need a new song and this, then, and the third. And I really want to, I thought she was calling to work with me. Yeah, I really want to work with you on it. I really want you and Jermaine to work on it together. Like, are you, are you opposed to working with Jermaine? I was like, no. <laughs> like, no, I'm not opposed. I said, of course. I, like, just tell me when and where. Like, I have no, yeah. I have no, Jermaine's my guy. I have no problem with him. Yeah. And she was like, okay, I just want to make sure. Hold the phone up. Five minutes later, Diane calls. Like, hey, are you, we go back in Atlanta. So I'm back in Atlanta next week. Okay, can we can you come on this day? I was like, yeah, could you know? I mean, me and Jermaine hadn't talked in a minute. It had been some months that went by. You know what I mean? Since that whatever that dis, that misunderstanding was that right. I didn't know nothing about right. happened. Go back, you know. Walk in the studio like nothing ever happened. First song we do is fucking don't forget about us. This is this is this is how it works. Divine. This is so when you what me and him have is some other shit. But for you critical. not, this is a key point. Uh, talk about it. It's a key point. Talk about it because at this moment, mm-hmm. your ego could have led you somewhere else. Thousand percent. Thousand percent. For you to be. That humble and that selfless and just understanding it's music and things happen and, you know, sometimes it go left. But even the way you even carried yourself throughout it. Mm-hmm. But that moment, though, after you get, like... A hit, a smash a, like that. Not yeah. even just a hit. Like, yeah. man, you well, got I was an all-timer. Everything, You have bro. an all-timer yeah. at this point. And you can poke your chest out. Mm-hmm. Your head can't fit into the room. Whatever, yeah. whatever yeah. these things are. And you say, you know what? Of course I'll go back and work. Of course. I'm not tripping. That's God. Of That's course. God saying, I'm going to give you more. Because yeah. yeah. you and can just, handle this. And I understood, and I still understand, how important that relationship is. But it was an, right. it was, it was an upbringing thing, too, mm-hmm. I think, that played a part of that. Because for you, Jermaine was still your elder. And so regardless respect. of There's what respect. happened, yeah, respect level. you respect, maintained yes. a level yes. of respect yeah. for your elder. Always. Yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. And that, like, with that coupled with the no pride and the no ego right. set you up for... But then I'm saying, we walk in the first song we make after uh, we haven't seen each other in forever, it was a number one record. Just, come on, bro. You know, so for me, I was yeah. like, that was even a more of a, like... Okay, dog. Like this is you know I'm, this is meant to be, and I felt like in life, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna always go with my instinct, and I feel like I, if you move with good intent, if you move with a good spirit, mm-hmm. no matter how like distraught I was for the short period of time that we weren't really working, I was just like, damn. And it wasn't even about money because I was working. Right. I just was like, damn. What happened? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, and, and it's just. Cause I'm, cause I'm not driven by ego. I'm driven by relationships. And that's, I'm driven and that's by why that's why you've had success for so long, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, to the point you're still making hit records. Yeah. Vito. Yeah. Still. Ari Lennox pressure. Yeah. Still. Like. Yeah. Like, this is not something. Like what is at this point? What is it? Twenty? It's more? How many years? Twenty what? Twenty? It'd be twenty five this year. Twenty five this year. Come on, bro. People don't make hit records for twenty five years. It's very. They it's a very select not. few mm-hmm. people who first hit record and their latest hit record span that type of time. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. Like real shit. Yeah. Like when I have conversations with people, people bring, bring up Tank to me. I'm like, leave Tank out of it. Mm-hmm. Like what you mean? Just leave Tank out of it. This is this is me. This is not my yeah. business partner. This yeah. is not nothing. Yeah. This is me as a fan of music. Yeah. I'm like, when y'all speaking about artists, leave that brother out of it. Yeah. His first hit record was in 2001. Yeah. It's 2023. Right now. 
right now. Relax. Relax. You know, what are y'all talking about, though? And then it's like, what are we really <laughs> are talking we, about? Like, what though? are we talking about? So, <laughs> like, in you, what capacity are we? You know what I mean? You like, know, you know, somebody, doing, especially when everything kicked off with verses. Yeah, like, oh, with the first, I said, uh, leave that man alone. Yeah. Same, like, when you come up, yeah. leave that man alone. Leave him alone. Just some people, it's just like, hey, man, just say, hey, bro, you dope. Yeah. Just keep, <laughs> just keep, keep walking. walking. Okay. And, and keep going. <laughs> Because then it gets tricky after that because then you got to start spanking niggas. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you get to a space where well, you have to do that. Well, I don't remind me of the Bow Wow video. <laughs> <laughs> Spank, Spank that ass. 